Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. It's time for more announcements. This time we have a couple of 4K UHD sets from Second Sight Films. They really are killing it this year, releasing some awesome stuff. Let's dive in and have a look at what they have on show here. So first up, we've got It Follows Limited Edition 4K UHD and Blu-ray. It's out on August 28th. I love this film since I saw it in the cinema. It's been terrific for me. One that I go back to uh, and just enjoy. I think Micah Monroe is terrific. Let's get into this release and see what it has to offer. So uh, a young woman is followed by a terrifying supernatural force after a sexual encounter with her new boyfriend. It's really kind of creepy and freaky. I love it. We have a dual format edition here, including the UHD and the Blu-ray with the main feature and bonus features on both discs. Second Sight Films 4K Master produced in conjunction with the original post-production facility. Approved by the director, David Robert Mitchell. UHD presented in Dolby Vision HDR. We have a new Dolby Atmos audio track produced by Second Sight Films, a new audio commentary by Joshua Grimm, an audio commentary by Danny Lee and Mark Yankovic, Chasing Ghosts, a new interview with actor Keir Gilchrist, following a new interview with actor Olivia Lucardi. It's in the house, an interview with producer David Kaplan, composing a masterpiece, an interview with composer Richard Vreeland, a Girls World interview with production designer Michael Perry. It follows the architecture of loneliness, a video essay by Joseph Wallace. There's also a rigid slipcase with new artwork. We get a 150 page book with new essays by Anne Bilson, Martin Contero, Kat Ellinger, Eugenio Ercolani, Matt Glasby, Kat Hughes, Jenny Kermode, and Katie Riff, as well as six collectors' art cards. I love It Follows. It is that creepy, unnerving kind of horror. It's uh, kind of low budget. It's in this kind of strange world where they have these kind of clamshell book reading devices things, that, yet it feels retro at the same time. I love everything about it, and I'm super stoked to get this on 4K UHD. Now, the second one is a film I haven't seen, Crimes of the Future. It's a limited edition 4K UHD and Blu-ray, which is available August 28th as well. Um, so, in the near future, a couple of performance artists push the boundaries of taste and decency with daring shows of mutilation an organ mutation, all the while a shadowy government agency is closing in on a terrorist group that are pushing for the next evolution in the human experience. Directed by David Cronenberg, starring Vito Morganson, eh, Leah Sadu, and Kirsten Stewart. I mean, it sounds pretty great. I've heard great things about it. I just never got around to checking it out. This is a dual format edition, including both UHD and Blu-ray with the main feature and bonus features. It's got the UHD presented in Dolby Vision HDR. We've got a new audio commentary by Calum Vansdal. Uh, Undeniable, a love story. Interview with director David Cronenberg. Things Change, an interview with actor Viggo Mortensen. The Chaos Inside, an interview with Leah Sadu. The Heat and the Grime, uh, interview with Kristen Stewart. The Bureau Man, interview with Don McClare. Pain Colour, a new interview with the producer Robert Lantos. The Most Wonderful Dream, a new interview with the cinematographer Douglas Koch. The Code of David, an interview with the editor Christopher Donaldson. New Flesh, Future Crimes, The Body and David Cronenberg, a video essay by Lee Singer. The Making of Crimes of the Future. Production design materials, a short film, The Death of David Cronenberg. Um, we have a rigid slipcase, a 120-page book with new essays um, by Rena Cervantes, Tim Coleman, Joel Harley, Rich Johnson, Michael J. Coven, Phil Nobile Jr., Ian Schultz and Hannah Strong, as well as six collector's art cards. Now, I, I know nothing about this one, but I, I, I'm interested. It's David Cronenberg, after all. 
Um, so of course I'm curious about this. Now, as usual with Second Sight films, you have your choice of which you would like to get. You can get the limited edition with the Blu-ray and the 4K, which is my preferred because I, I like having both formats. Um, it follows on 4K or it follows on uh, Blu-ray. As it says in the blurb, it all comes with the same on-disc content. You're just missing the hard case. You're missing both copies of the film. You're missing the booklet, the art cards. Crime of the future um, is exactly the same. You get the the limited edition. You can have the 4K. You can have the Blu-ray. All available on the same day. Choose your poison, whichever one you want more. I... I can't wait to get It Falls on 4K to sit down and relive that terrifying film. I'm looking forward to checking out Crimes of Future Past. Should be exciting times ahead. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on either of these titles, whether you love them, hate them, what you thought of them. Are they interesting? Are you interested in the 4K or just the Blu-ray, the limited or standard? Let me know in the comment box below because I'm extremely nosy and very curious. There's more content up here where you can see more of my stuff. In the description box below are links to the Patreon membership program and manvfilm.com. Always in which you can support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.